when I hit that standby button, what it'll do is it'll hold. Welcome everybody, Ken Doner here again. Uh, today we are going to do a full roast on the P5 Series 3 roaster. Charlie's out getting a frequent flyer mile somewhere, so I guess I'm flying solo again today. But anyway, we're roasting coffee, so it's all good. In preparation for doing the roast, we've already got our roaster heated up, so we thought we'd save a little time. On the new P5 Series 3 screens, everything is digital. So instead of having the push buttons like we had on the 2 Series, uh, I've started our drives by pushing the button. So the drum comes up to speed, the exhaust fan starts and gets up to speed. So that's already going. Uh, I started our roaster heating, so our roaster's already warm. In fact, it's about 331F right now. One of the new features that we have that I want to point out right now is we have a standby button. So when I hit that standby button, what it'll do is it'll hold the roaster at a temperature of 300 degrees. Now, since our roaster was above 300 already, it's going to turn the heating down and the roaster is going to slowly cool off till it hits 300 degrees. Then the heating will slowly come back on again to try to maintain it at that temperature. So if you get a phone call, you have a customer visit, something happens and you need to go grab a new bag of coffee from the back or whatever. So you're going to be away from the roaster for a while. Uh, this is a very convenient way to keep your roaster warm without it getting over temperature or you know just dropping too low. So I'm going to turn the standby off now and we'll go ahead and turn the heating up to 100%. Uh, in preparation of dropping our beans at 410. So we have the option to do a complete manual roast, which you know everybody's probably familiar with doing that. Uh, I'm gonna run a recipe roast today too, which is I guess how most people do most of their roasts. Once you find the recipe that you like, the profile that you like, you're gonna run from a recipe. So I'm gonna switch over from manual roasting to roasting with recipe. And believe it or not, we have a roast called Ken on there already. I like medium roast. This one takes it up to about 420 degrees. So that's what I like. So that's what we're gonna to roast today. I will see you when we are ready to drop the beans. Okay, right now I'm, I'm heating up the roaster in manual mode to get it up to 410, the charge temperature. Then I'm gonna switch it over to the recipe and I'm gonna run our recipe when I drop the beans and start the roast. So, okay, we are at the temperature. So I'm gonna hit with recipe. I'm going to drop the beans. And hit start roasting. So now it's going to follow the uh, roast profile that's on the recipe from here. Okay, we're getting ready. We're approaching first crack right now. I thought I'd just point out a couple of things that are happening on our display. What we're trying to do is follow the product temperature as closely as possible. So the dashed line is from the original roast, the solid line is from the current roast. So you can see that our product temperature is matching very, very closely with what the original recipe was. Our exhaust temperature seems like it was a little bit lower on the first roast, and it's a little bit higher on this roast. So I don't know exactly what the differences were between uh, the two times that these were taken. Uh, but since we're trying to match the product temperature, it seems like we've got to have our exhaust temperature just a little bit higher. And we also had a little blip with the vacuum in here, so we're automatically adjusting the vacuum. Again, this is in uh, pursuit of matching the product temperature uh, curve. So we're approaching first crack. Uh, when we do this roast today, the original recipe called to drop at 420. Our cameraman makes me look good, and he likes a little bit lighter roast. So we're going to drop at 410. There's no problem using a recipe and dropping it a little bit early. We can stop it. It won't change the recipe that's saved in the, in the computer at all. So we're good there. We're just going to roast till we want to drop and keep going. Okay, we're at 400 degrees right now. I'm going to go ahead and start the stir and start the cooling fan. This is in preparation for dropping at 410. 
So 404, uh, the temperature on our first recipe, we lowered the temperature when it got above 400 degrees. So our temperature is going down a little bit. Uh, we're at 408. So we're going to go ahead and drop the beans now. And we'll hit stop roast on our screen. So we've got a nice medium roast coffee here looking very good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the standby mode on. This will keep the temperature now at 300 degrees or moving towards 300 degrees until we're ready to start our next roast. Okay, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, hit subscribe on YouTube and follow on Instagram, and I'll see you next time.